the final triumph of Victor Von Doom begins. You saw this Spidey guy. Do you think that it's actually going to translate to you getting the game? Or? Um, not really. And uh, you're authorized to talk to me. Is that okay? That is okay. Okay. What is Chevy doing at Comic Con? Because I usually don't see them at trade shows like this. Okay. Uh, actually, we started coming to Comic Con last year. The biggest goal is putting the new technology in our vehicles that allow people to be more connected. We want to engage with them in an in-person setting, especially with those who love the technology as much as the individuals at Comic Con do. Yeah. Plus, being a big fan of Transformers and helping to support that project, having a car like the Camaro and having Bumblebee here is only more helpful. Do you think that uh, the typical Comic-Con uh, convention goer can actually afford uh, a car? Or? So the Chevy Spark behind me that we have right here, very low to model, great thing. It has all the in-car technology. It's aligned specifically with the demographic of the individuals at Comic-Con. And we have mostly lo fully loaded vehicles right around us that are under the $20,000 mark with every available option. So when did Chevy first start attracting the, the Comic-Con demographic? I'm curious. Oh, you know, it's been a big focus of ours, especially as we've been trying to change our image and move towards a younger audience, as well as a more technology and into the real world audience. So we've designed cars specifically within the past few years that are not only energy efficient, are leaning a little bit more towards my, miles per gallon and being inside the city. So we're aligning with the individuals who are college students in school and really making them feel like a part of the Chevy family. So is there a conscious aesthetic to try to design a car for like say a geek or a comic-con person is that how you're is it it's like they have money absolutely I mean you know the thing is this anybody who sees value in a product can always find the money to get that we put a price point that makes it available to them and we want to make sure they're as comfortable as involved as possible and the individuals at comic-con all these people who are as involved with technology as possible love what they do are passionate individuals and want to be constantly engaged with the world now have the ability to do that the youth of the future whether it's specifically the individuals that are connected here at comic-con or even the college students that are just so immersed with the technology and just being a part of that online and digital sense i think the nice part about individuals at comic-con they're digitally aware but most of our young people today are digitally aware so we're going to continue to make it as user friendly for them and as accessible for them so being digitally aware will allow college students to forget about their considerable debt and purchase a Chevy? No, it's going to allow them to actually make their life, their digital awareness, part of their driving experience. So now when you're driving, you're not just listening to the radio, but you can stream your own personal music. You can call your friends hands-free, and now you're being a safer driver, and you're connected with the car that you just spent money on. You're being a safer driver even though you're being digitally aware. I'd rather have a driver who's aware of the road, you know what I mean? Well, that's the nice thing. A lot of it is over voice recognition. It's hands-free, so you can do everything from the steering wheel, keep your eyes on the phone, Click a little button that's going to allow you to do voice recognition, say, play Pandora, this station. And now I can drive forward with that vehicle. Well, this is one of my favorite days with my friend Mary. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite superhero? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman? Well, you're not wearing Wonder Woman. <laughs> she didn't have the costume. <laughs> how, how, much, how much do you think is going to set you back this con? Oh, I don't know. We haven't been keeping track. I'm sure we'll realize it when we get the bells. Basically, you're a battery company first and a comics person second? Yes. How it started was, this is our logo, and it's a pterodactyl. And so we said, you know, we want to do some promotion. So we did this, this uh, drawing of terror. People liked it, kids liked it. Some kids don't even open these. They just sit them on the table. Yeah. So then we said, hmm, maybe we should do comics. So next thing you know, we had our, our um, artist, who's Alex Graziano, draw some other characters. And then we drew some more and some more and some more. And then uh, we developed a script, and now we're doing a movie behind it. Huh. So it's kind of evolved all in a year. How long has the battery company been around? The battery company has been around for about three years now. We started out as... Uh, the the uh, South American distributor for Sanyo, uh -huh. um, but then uh, they were bought out by Panasonic, but we kept going, uh, which is GCOM, and then we're in uh, Belfast, we're in Manila, uh, and now we're bringing it to America. Is this a family business? Or? Uh, yeah, it's uh, my, actually myself and my partner, uh -huh. two guys. Okay. Yeah. So the comics thing just came around in the last year. Have you tried to reach other markets before? Uh, along this is brand new. This is some, our, actually, one of our filmmakers who's right here, oh, this is Alana. <laughs> Hi, 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Alana and our artist, who's Alex Graziano, and myself had a meeting last week, and they said, okay, maybe we should do Comic Con. So here we are. Have you done any smaller cons, or is this the first time? This is the first thing. But do you think that people being drawn to a comic book character will get them interested in your batteries? Well, I'm here talking to you, and all these people have been taking pictures, so I guess it's working. But until I talked with you, I didn't know there was a battery aspect to this. Okay, well, but you will. Um, we're starting to do more promotion here in America, but we're in other markets, uh, such as uh, South America and Belfast and Manila. So do you feel that there's a fair compromise between fun along the lines of like a pterodactyl character and like selling batteries as some sort of moral high ground that doesn't actually like exploit some of the many fans who are coming here and who see their interests turned easily into commercialization? Actually, we're not really associating the, the comic book so much with the battery. It's not like we're saying buy our batteries, buy our batteries. Yeah. We're really into comics. Yeah. Alex is a longtime comic um, uh, drawer artist. And myself and my partners, we've been reading comics since we were kids. I used to draw a little bit, but I leave that to Alex. We're really a, a legit uh, global comics network. Like, it has its own Facebook, it, and that's it. Yeah. Do you just sit here and draw arts and wait for people to come by? That's pretty much it. All I do is draw, so that's what I do when I'm at home, and that's what I do when I'm here. So, selling prints and books and drawing. How, how long have you been in this line? Um, I've been doing makeup for about four years now. Yeah. The bikini specifically for four years, or? I'm sorry. The bikini body painting for specifically uh, for four. The years? body painting and face painting have been longer. I've been doing longer. I'm actually a makeup artist as well. So the makeup I've been doing like professionally for about four years. The face and body painting has kind of been the last eight, ten years, off and on. So. So what did you What did you start off painting before you got into the body painting here? Kids, face painting. You know, I was doing. Uh, it starts with kids, it moves to bodies. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, I was doing it part time in college, and, um, you know, I eventually started my own little company, and it's called Not Just Faces, and then I have makeupbycrystal.com, which is like my makeup and effects website. So. Okay. Makeup and effects for, like, films and stuff? Yes. Yeah, film, theater. Savini S kind of splatter gore? Sure. I do some horror movies. Uh, I do straight makeup, which is just like your regular beauty stuff as well. and a little bit of everything. So the bikini body painting is your passion? Um, <laughs> sure. I, I, I like it all equally. How do you become a good bikini body painting? Do you just have lots of friends who are willing to have their bodies painted? Do you paint on yourself before you paint on other people? Um, I haven't really painted my full body per se, but yeah, I practice on other people. You know, you just do little jobs here and there and you know, eventually you just build up your skills and you know, quickness and everything. <laughs> My name is Jessica. How many times do you have to be painted over the weekend? Um, I was here yesterday. Yesterday I was painted as Emma Frost, and now I'm here today. So just the two days for me. So do you have? Are you body painted by her quite a bit? Um, no, actually, this is our first time working together, oh, but it's. Uh, we did yesterday yeah, and then today. So. It's a lot of fun, and um, you get to know each other very quickly. <laughs> yeah. How does this rate on gigs in terms of strangeness? Um, I actually love it. I think it's hilarious. I think it's a lot of fun to be part of this and be able to come to Comic-Con. Um, but it's definitely interesting. And it's definitely interesting to have to go home afterwards <laughs> being covered in paint. But everybody else is in costume and painted, so I don't... Does stuff come off easy? Or? Um, yesterday I had white paint, so it wasn't so bad. I'm sure this is going to be a little bit worse. I'm going to use a lot of makeup wipes, but um, it's worth it. It looks pretty pretty awesome. But this isn't the strangest gig you've had. What's the strangest gig you've had? Um, oh geez. This is probably up there. Um, I don't know. Probably this. <laughs>